Hello, what's up? Let's take a look what's new with Simply Trails version 1.1.0. So as soon as you open the file and hit play, nothing much has changed until you start taking a look on the modifier itself. So now we have a new simulation panel that's going to be collapsed by default. And there are a couple options here that we are going to explain just in a moment. Plus, in the trail geometry section, we are going to see a new mode called Duplicate. Let's take a look on this collection right here to see how these features are being used. First of all, let's focus on this running character right here. Change our frame rate to 24. Here we are showcasing the options in the simulation panel and I'm going to come back my, my simulation to the beginning and I'm going to start hitting the arrow key here on my keyboard. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. As you can see, the simulation happens only after every three frames, which means we are skipping two frames per simulation step. And this can be defined right here as the emitter only moves after every three frames we are skipping two frames of our simulation and then we have this effect which is pretty cool for things like old school gaming style effects right now let's take a look at the biker this biker here is throwing you some punches some kicks let's take a look how this was made select one of these emitters right here we have two emitters we have the original character and we have biker proxy arms and the biker proxy legs one for the arms and another for the legs and we are animating the steps to only produce our effect on the desired moments like here and now we are not and again it's going to start emitting from the leg and it's going to gradually turn off let's delete our emitters and start from scratch so you can follow my thought how this was set up to delete this and now we are left only with the original character as you can see it's not low poly it's not too high but it's not too low poly remember when we create the trail effect on the duplicate mode, we are going to actually duplicate the mesh we have from the emitter. What we're going to do now is duplicate the source and then we are going to decimate the source to make sure that we don't have too many polygons to work with because, because as much as my effect happens, we are accumulate a lot of polygons on the screen and that can drag your performance pretty pretty low i'm going to duplicate my my fellow here and in this duplicated one i'm gonna call biker arms and i'm going to focus this effect on their arms now in this duplicated character add a decimate modifier and just move it before the armature we're going to apply this modifier the ratio going to be 0 0.05 which is five percent of the original amount of polygons and now press ctrl a blender is asking me you want to make it a single user before you apply of course my blender is set up in a way that every time i duplicate with shift d it's actually uh, duplicate linked with the original mesh so now I have two users for the same mesh the biker and the biker arms objects I'm going to press ctrl a and I'm gonna say thank you blender for reminding me about that that's pretty pretty good that you do that so I'm going to apply now blender separated both meshes from the original one and the current duplicated object so now I make sure I have a separated mesh from the original one and on this duplicated object i will create a new vertex group i'm gonna call arms enter edit mode and select where i want to create my my vertex group 
with the arms selected assigned to the vertex group arms and now to drag and drop my effect on the biker itself make sure that I'm not going to display the source because the source is going to be visible underneath the emitter right here use the vertex group called arms now we are going to create the effect only in the arms but at the moment um, the material is not correct bring back our original guy and work on the material now don't forget to change to the new duplicate mode because we are going to create this effect instead of the extrude mode one and I want to make sure as I'm experimenting with the settings turn off cache and trash my cache now every tweak I make I go in to see in real time what's going to happen okay let's work on the material now change this to shading mode currently it's a mess you're going to see a big mess here on the screen don't get in panic you're going to don't screen up don't be afraid okay so we're going to duplicate this material and i'm gonna call it body um body uh trail and assign this material on my trail modifier at the moment we are using the basic one st basic i'm removing it as you can see we are duplicating the mesh and drag and drop just this material i just duplicated and now we are seeing the same material as the original one okay let's work on the transparency now so at the moment everything is opaque and let's come here and add a new group called st tweak uvy plug it in to see how it looks like as you can see here we are gradually fading from white to black what's happening so this is really useful for playing with the transparency because we are going to mix this shader with a transparent shader and we are going to use this as a factor and now i plug everything take a look looks like it's the inverse what i need press out and s to shift these ones and things start looking pretty close if i take a look on the properties of this of this material we can work with transparency in many ways here by default blender uses the jitter red the jitter red probably is the most accurate one but it's pretty noisy it costs more you can use that but for instance i'm going to use the classic blended one make sure the back face culling here so i don't see the internal parts probably i won't see the internal parts and i go into heat transparency overlap off and on right and with the back face culling on the camera activated as well so the internal parts won't show up and now i have this effect that's pretty cool and now i repeat the same thing for the leg let's come back to my workspace and now i'm going to duplicate exactly this one holding out and d to make sure the mesh from this object is the same on the duplicated object i'm going to press alt and d so i have a duplication a duplicated object sharing the same mesh and on this object i'm going to rename for legs here we have a legs create a new vertex group called kick and it's kicking with its left leg enter edit mode select only the legs of this guy only the left leg in this case assign this as a vertex group come back to the modifier itself and in this one use the kick and the material is going to be the same let's see if the effect is already happening come back to the first frame 
looks like yes okay cool and now you can tweak when the fact should happen and when the fact should not happen and let's say we start emitting from here a little bit before i come here let's say zero steps and then gradually to uh six steps and then i come here six steps again and then i'm gonna fade to zero steps let's take a look how it looks hide the arms focus only on the leg okay but as the movement is so fast feels like we could have more more legs showing up in between and to do that use the sub step right here so i'm going to increase one leg in between each one how it would look like now we see more legs showing up and that looks better to me so there you go that is how you can define when the effect should happen and from this point when he gives the last punch decrease the steps to zero and make sure the effect happens like that there you have it this is simply trails version 1.1 it's now available on gumroad and superhive i hope you like it see you ciao